Now at 6, our coverage continues of the death of Aaron Hernandez, which prison officials say was a suicide. Tonight, Hernandez's death is once again drawing attention to suicides in Massachusetts prisons, which at least one state lawmaker says is a widespread problem. It's also thrown Hernandez's existing murder conviction into doubt. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is standing by live with more on that. But first, Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner joins us now live outside the prison in Shirley, Massachusetts. Jared? Mike Shannon, good evening. Well, uh, the Worcester DA tonight tells us an autopsy was performed this morning on Aaron Hernandez's body. And tonight an expert is telling us Hernandez's reported suicide is one of about 250 in state and federal prisons each and every year. Members of the jury have Convicted murderer and once yes. great Patriots tight end Aaron Hernandez is dead tonight. The Massachusetts Department of Corrections says by his own hand at the Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center in Shirley. Staff found Hernandez in his private cell around 3 a.m. They say he hanged himself with a bedsheet and jammed items into the cell door. State Senator Jamie Eldridge calling for a commission to study prison suicides. Massachusetts has among the highest suicide rates for prisoners and correction officers. And while obviously none of us have any idea why Mr. Hernandez committed suicide, I really do think this moment underscores the need uh, to reform. In 2010, seven state inmates committed suicide in just half a year, most by hanging or asphyxiation, one of them here at Sousa Baranowski. Staff said that 27-year-old was found hanging by a sheet in his cell. Three years earlier, seven inmate suicides as well. In 2011, the DOC hired an expert to study the increase in Massachusetts prison suicides. According to an annual report, that produced new suicide prevention instruction at the agency's training academy. And we actually reached out today to that very expert who did that Massachusetts suicide review. Her name is Lindsay Hayes, and she wrote to us in an email, quote, I am confident that the agency and its health care provider will conduct comprehensive investigations into Mr. Hernandez's death, which should include a transparent determination as to whether or not his death was preventable. Continues, although not all inmate suicides are preventable, many of them are. Live in Shirley tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, Jared Planter, Eyewitness News.